Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on alternate angles on parallel lines. Now we have alternate angles when we have a Z shape where the lines at either end of the Z are parallel to each other and basically the angle between the first two lines will be the same as the angle between the last two lines like this. And if you ask for a justification exam of a particular angle we can write that alternate angles are equal. They're alternate angles because they're on alternate sides, alternative sides of this connecting line here. They're sometimes known as Z angles because of this Z shape, but you shouldn't write that in exam. That's not a formal name. So let's apply it to these two problems. Well, for problem A, you might be able to see the Z here. So the angle between the first and the second line, which is 70 degrees, must be the same as between the second and the third line, which is this x. So that x is just 70 degrees because they are alternate angles. What about the second one? A bit more problem solving here. Well, let's see if we can spot a z. And remember, either end of your z have to be parallel lines. Well, can you see that we've got a z here with the 80? So if we bold up the lines either side and then we've got the parallel line on the other side of our Z. You can see that's kind of a backward Z, isn't it? So if the angle between the first and second line is 80, the angle between the second and the third line must also be 80. So that is 80 degrees. Now notice I've put two marks here on this triangle here, and that means that length is the same as that length. That means we have an isosceles triangle. So the way I identify the angles which are the same in the isosceles triangle is to put my two fingers on the marks and slide my fingers away, and we can see it must be these two angles which are equal. So this angle here is the same as that. So if they're the same, I should first do 180 minus that angle to find out what the total of these two angles are. And then because they're equal, I just divide by two. So let's do that. 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees. So these two angles must add up to 100 degrees. And because they're the same, to get y, you just divide the 100 by two. We share it equally. And that's going to be 50 degrees.